There we go. Hey everybody, Garrett Claridge here. Today we're checking out these real low profile bus speakers here. These are the Mobile Page Low Profile 8 Ohms Midwest Electronics Industries Incorporated, Chicago, Illinois, United States of America. Behind the plastic grill, there's actually a stamp that says Midwest 603B slash LP. Now the little silver sticker on the front, that says GFI Genfare, Unit of General Signal. So not only did I get four of these crazy PA speakers to play around with, but I also have the microphone they use on all Toronto Transit systems. They love this microphone, they even use it today in the new buses. This is the AKG Acoustics D70. Now the AKG D70, I usually see this microphone in stage and studio environments. They often use it to record loud things like a guitar amplifier or even a snare drum. These work real awesome for. Now I was really weirded out to see this kind of CB connector on there. I'm not sure if that's a custom thing or not. But I was able to cut that off and just solder on a Nutrick XLR cable. And you know what? This thing works great and even handles phantom power like a champ. All right, let's take a closer look at these things. You can definitely tell why they call them low profile speakers. If you're looking for something like this, they call them low profile or shallow mount. Now let's see just how shallow these are. The entire driver without the grill, an inch and a half. That's pretty impressive. But then you can see the grill design here. It actually sticks it up half an inch. So that tells me we only need an inch of cavity space behind this. So if you're mounting this in the ceiling of a bus or something, there's going to be a lot of space up there so you can have the insulation and everything and still not really compromise. Oh my god, there's a bug in there. Look at that old guy. It's a moth or something. Whoops! So here we have one out of the grill. This one didn't fare so well on its way to me, but you know what, I think it's still going to be a lot of fun. The surround popped on it, so you know this is going to be the perfect one to show you just how these work. I'll just fold these back for you. Totally ruthless. <laughs> so you can see inside the uh, magnet and the voice coil and the spider is all one unit in here. Now I like this design because if there was a leak in the bus or something, all the essentials are actually protected here. And if we look at the cone, it is a paper cone, however, they put a waterproof coating on there. Very nice coating, like, I think you'd be able to spray water at that, no problem. However, the other side, not so much. This thing was glued together really good. You could see when I was taking this dust cap off, which is aluminum, by the way, I was taking all the glue and I almost took the voice coil lead right out of that thing, so I just cut a little piece of the dust cap. It still reads, it's still good. So for the first audio test, I'll be using recordings taken on Toronto street buses. Next stop, Marley Avenue. You can definitely tell they're not the best recordings, however, it's going to get the job done and I absolutely want to see one of these speakers explode to the sound of their own announcement. Next stop, Marley Avenue. Next stop, Marley Avenue. All right, I'm going to turn that up and see if we can destroy this thing with its own announcement. Next stop. <laughs> All right, I'm going to try it with the one that was already messed up a little bit. Express vehicle. Next stop, Lawrence East Station. This is an express vehicle. Ah, uh, well, that one wasn't so exciting. Oh. <laughs> Garrett Claridge here. <laughs> All right, this combination of microphone and speaker system sounds just like the announcements you hear on the Toronto buses. Um, next stop, Islington Avenue. Islington Avenue. If I, I would not make a good bus announcer. 
My voice is so deep it destroys this speaker. <laughs> Welcome to the tilt world Please keep hands and feet inside the vehicle at all times while ride is in motion. Thank you and have fun. <laughs> okay, it's about time I turn this microphone up a little bit and see what this bastard can do. Check one. Whoa! Check one, two, three. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> three. Now the last speaker I'll be blowing up with music, but I'm going to give it a quick audio test just because I have a feeling this system has never played any music in its lifetime. Did you guys see the old bug fall out? Well, that's about all for now. I'd like to thank Chris and Noah for helping me make this video possible. And in the meantime, you guys be sure to have yourself a nice fucking day. Oh my fuck! <laughs>